Hello YouTube, this is Taven Webb here, and welcome back to another video. This video will be on my Nintendo Entertainment System collection. My NES collection, so let's get things started. First off, we have the NES itself, the original Nintendo. In it's it's not really beat up. It's a little dirty. I I did buy this used, but for a really really good price, I bought this with one game, one controller, and all the cables for twenty dollars, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And this NES, it works amazing. There there aren't any really major issues with the system itself, but. It does run games. It sometimes won't read games automatically. You have to take them out, put them back in several times, but still. This NES is in really good working condition. And this NES still has the door, too, to cover up the game, which I thought was really neat, too. And well, let's move on. We have an original Nintendo controller, which is actually quite tiny and it's kind of uncomfortable too because it has cornered edges kind of sharp edges so after a, few, a couple hours of playtime with this it does kind of hurt your hands but it's still a good controller it's a really basic but really good controller your start select d-pad b and a pretty basic stuff and moving on <clears throat> We have this thing, the NES Advantage. Now, as you can already tell, this controller is just massive. This thing is just monster. Now, why do they call it the Advantage? Well, it has a few things up its sleeve. It has these little buttons right here, the turbo buttons. Basically, if you turn this on, it makes this B go turbo. It basically means if you hold it, it'll press itself automatically. And you can actually... These little knobs here, you can tune them to how fast you you want it to press. If you turn it all the way to the left, it goes at a really slow pace, but if you turn it all the way up, it goes incredibly fast. So that's one thing it has. And it has a 1-2 player select, and it has a slow. This one's... I found it to be pretty useless, honestly, because it doesn't really do much. It just rapidly presses the pause button, at least for me. So that's pretty much it with this controller. Now let's move on to some games. Now I have a pretty decent sized library of games. Let's start off with the first one. Blades of Steel, uh, a hockey game. A very good hockey game, I might add. And Double Dribble, a basketball game. Now this basketball game is it's pretty good. It was actually it's actually quite addictive, at least to me. I'm not a big fan of basketball games, but this game I actually caught myself playing like four hours of it in one sitting. So yeah, it was a, it was a pretty good basketball game. Now golf. Unfortunately, this cartridge it's um it's only three dollars, and it's only three dollars for a reason. It barely works. There is little to no sound and the graphics are really glitchy so I don't really have much to say about it and ah excite bike now this game like double dribble it's quite addictive as well this one is just a dirt dirt bike racing game you just try to compete to get the fastest time and yeah it's a it's a pretty good game this one Another sports game, Track and Field 2. Now this game is just a bunch of little mini games. Like it has events such as um, arm wrestling, taekwondo, and fencing, I believe, are the three games. I, I don't know if there's a fourth game, but those are the only ones I can name off the top of my head. And it's, it's a pretty good game. Those games are pretty... They're pretty good. I, I really like the Taekwondo game. That that little game is pretty fun. So yeah, this is a pretty good game. Super Mario Bros. Slash Duck Hunt. This one is another combo cartridge. as has the two games. 
And this is the game that actually came with the NES back in 1985. It was packaged with the system, and it's amazing. Unfortunately, I can't play Duck Hunt because I don't have the gun, the zapper for it. But I do play a lot of Mar Mar Super Mario Bros. And if you've seen a lot of, I've done a lot of Super Mario videos on my channel, as you can tell. So I really like, really like this game too. Super Mario Bros. 2. Don't really have a lot of things to say about it. It's really, really hard. One thing That's one thing I can add, though. For sure, it's really hard. I'm not a huge fan of this game, which kind of sucks to say because I really like Mario, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of this game. It's just so odd. It doesn't make any sense to me. I still think it's a fun game. It's just... I don't know honestly what to say about it. I have not put a lot of time into it. And Super Mario Bros. 3. Now this game I absolutely love. I've done also a couple videos on this game as well. And it's a it's an amazing platformer. It's it's really advanced for itself. This is probably one of the most advanced NES games I've probably ever played it has a really a lot of neat aspects to it and it's just a fantastic platform and Tetris yeah don't really need to say a lot about this game because you should already know what this game is it's a puzzle game you basically take the shapes that it gives you place them in the right way and get get lines and get points and the NES version I really really love has its own unique music to it and pretty much the same game modes as all the other ones but it's still it's a pretty fun game I I it's really addictive spot now this isn't originally my game but I'm just borrowing it for now this is a it's a it's it's a decent it's another puzzle game it's all right it's it took me a while to get used to it and learn how to actually play, but when I did, I thought it was pretty. It's, it's, it's an okay game. I, I, he just said I should probably play this, my friend. So I did, and it's, it's an all right game. Ikari Warriors. Now this game is pretty awesome too. This is a, this is a, this is a co-op game too, and it's a co-op shooter game. This one is actually a bird's eye viewed game, and it's, I haven't gotten too much into it, I can't even pass the first level, it's a pretty hard game, and I, th I think it's a pretty good game, the controls are well done, the co-op is amazing, and it's a pretty good game. Now for the last game, Metroid, without a doubt the hardest NES game or probably the hardest game I have ever played in my life. Oh my gosh, this game is so hard, but it's like it's it's really fun though, despite it being so hard. It's just it's a it's a really fun game. I it was unfortunately it was really expensive though, forty nine ninety nine for it, but it was it's still I I thought it was worth it because. It's, this game is actually surprisingly hard to find, and I found it in a shop, so I, I decided, you know what, I, I'll just buy it right now, so I don't have to wait to buy it online. But it's, it's so hard. But it's a really fun game. And now one last thing is this little nice case that I have for the game. This actually came with my Super Mario Bros. 3, which I bought online. It came with this... This case, it's a really nice case. Let me try to open it. Basically, you just put the game inside of there. You just push it and lock it, and and it's a it's a really really strong case too. And I really like it. So yeah, that appears to be everything that I own currently right now for my NES. So. That seems to be it. I will get off here now. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will see you next time.